So Major League Baseball has been trying to grow the game to appeal to a younger audience for years. They've made rule changes to speed up the game. Heck, they even doctored the baseballs in 2019 to get more offense. But this, this may be the most interesting idea that I've heard from them so far. So this new idea I'm talking about are the reported negotiations between Major League Baseball and Barstool Sports for a broadcast deal that would mean nationally broadcasted games on Barstool's website. Major League Baseball already has broadcasting deals with ESPN, Fox, TBS. They even have done some stuff with YouTube and as recently as a few weeks ago, something with Peacock. But despite all of that, comparing 2019, the last real season of Major League Baseball to this season, they've seen a double digit drop in viewership in TV households. Barstool Sports brings something that the others don't, and that's a younger audience across multiple platforms. Between Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok, Barstool has millions of followers, all mainly college-aged and in their 20s. Barstool also has a competitive advantage over all of those other outlets, and that's a direct hand in sports gambling. In fact, Barstool's parent company, Penn National, just acquired the Canadian sports betting app, The Score, which has sports books in several states. And that's what's most appealing to Major League Baseball the idea of a live broadcast with live betting. Now, I'm not a big gambler, but can you imagine how cool it would be to be able to bet on if a player is going to get a hit during his at-bat or if a base runner is going to steal a base? Personally, I think it would be really cool and that it would draw a lot more attention to the game. Now, there are a few concerns with this deal. Number one, Pete Rose, one of the greatest players to ever play the game, has been all but removed from the history books for gambling on games during his career. Major League Baseball would have to reverse that unless they just want to look like complete idiots. Second, Barstool Sports has a checkered past, to put it nicely. There have been claims of a misogynistic workplace and racist remarks all the way up to CEO Dave Portnoy, so that alone may turn off a lot of people. But I gotta say, I think this would be an awesome idea and I'm not even a stoolie. First of all, for the most part, MLB announcers across the league are just terribly boring. I mean, some of these booths are calling the game like they're at a funeral. No energy, no enthusiasm. If you weren't paying attention to the TV screen the entire time, you wouldn't even know what's going on. The national broadcasts, especially ESPN, are just brutal. If I have to hear Santa Maria again from Matt Baskurgeon, Santa Maria! I might shove pencils in my ears. A-Rod is so insufferable and fake that I could mistake him for a contestant on an MTV reality show. I don't know nobody and on um, Fox, you have Joe Buck. In the air to left, down the line. This ball ends it. Who's Joe Buck? So having a group of young, energetic fans pushing the envelope is something that would be really interesting to me. Imagine a group of Red Sox and Yankees fans in the same room calling the game, flexing on each other when their team wins while the others look on in despair. Major League Baseball players are starting to show that type of flair on the field and it's time the broadcast booths do the same. Right now, it sounds like this deal could go either way, but honestly, if they can make it work, I think Barstool and Major League Baseball have something really cool going on. So what do you guys think? Is MLB and Barstool partnering on a gambling broadcast a good way to grow the game and if it is barstool sports would you guys tune into that and stay tuned for my upcoming video later this week third quarter power rankings for major league baseball